Hello viewers. Once again, I want to thank all those people who have subscribed to this channel. And this was question number 17 that was being tested in the KCP for the year 2017. It has been requested by one of the viewers. Now the question reads, in a Harabe meeting, three-tenths of the attendants were women, three-fifths of the remainder were men, and the rest were children. What fraction of the attendants were children? Now, you realize that the total attendance for the Harambe was made up of all, it comprised uh, women, men, and children. These three categories of people attended that meeting. But now we are told that three-tenths of the attendants we are women. Three-tenths of the attendants we are women. Now, we need now to calculate the remaining fraction. If three-tenths of the attendants we are women, to get the remaining fraction, you take the fraction for the whole meeting or for the whole harabe, all those who attended, which is just one, and then you subtract the attendance for women. And since we are taking 10 out of 10 to represent one, then you subtract three tenths. The, uh, the denominator here is just 10, and therefore the LCM will remain 10. And subtracting this one in the normal way, whereby you take 10, you divide by 10 to get one, and then you multiply by 10 to get 10, then you take 10, you, uh, you divide by 10 to get 1, and then you multiply by 3, you'll get 3. So 10, you subtract 3 over 10, and therefore the remaining fraction will be 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 was the remaining fraction that made men and children. If you go back to the question, you'll find that you are told that three-fifths of the remainder we are men and the rest we are children. So we need first of all to get the actual fraction for men. Now 7 over 10 represented the fraction for both men and children. And we are told that three-fifths of the remainder we are men. Remember the remaining fraction here is 7 out of 10. And therefore three-fifths of 7 out of 10 which will be uh, the fraction for men you now uh, represent off with multiplication and therefore you just multiply uh, straight away the numerators and you multiply the denominators in the normal way whereby now you take 3 multiplied by 7 to get 21 and 5 you multiply by 10 you get 50. Therefore the fraction for men was 21 out of 50 and therefore these are now the men who or the fraction for men who attended the harambe this time you will find that we've got the fraction for women and now so far we've got the fraction for men it therefore means that whatever will be left will now be the fraction of the children who attended that harambe meeting so the fraction of men and women who attended the Harabe meeting was, you take the total or the fraction for women and then you add the fraction for men to get the total fraction for both women and men, which is 36 out of 50 if you do the addition of these two fractions here, whereby with the denominator 10 and 50, the LCM remain 50. And so you divide by uh, 50, you divide by 10, and then you multiply by 3, you get 15. 50, you divide by 50, you get 1, and then you multiply by 21, you get 21. Once you subtract, um, once rather you add 15 plus 21, you should get 36 out of 50. This is the fraction for both men and women. So to get the fraction of the children who attended that meeting, we should therefore take the fraction for the total attendance. All those people who were there in that harambe, that is both men, uh, women, and also children, all of them, and then you subtract the total for women and men. And since we have got denominator 50 here, we should take now 50 out of 50 to get 1, meaning the total attendance for, for, for all those people who attended that meeting. Then we subtract the total for 
men and women. Now, the denominator here is 50, and so the LCM will remain 50. So straight away, you don't need to struggle so much here by uh, getting the LCM because it is just 50. And so you just take 50, you subtract 36, you get 14 out of 15. 14 out of 15 now is the fraction for the attendance of children. But now this fraction here cannot be left like that because it is simplifiable. So once you simplify that fraction whereby you take uh, 14, you divide by 2, uh, you, div uh, you get 7, 50, you divide by 2, you get 25. So when that fraction A has been simplified, it gives you 7 out of 25, which will now be the fraction for the children. And from the choices, it has been given as choice D. So this could have been a better choice for that question. Thank you very much. You can continue subscribing to this channel. Click like and you can also share this information to other people. Thank you.